It's often hard to say goodbye to a television series. Over the course of several years, we get to know the characters and their worlds, share in their weekly adventures, and even form an emotional connection with them. In certain cases, we might feel like we're losing close friends or even family members. But would we still feel such a deep sense of loss if we later found out that most of our favorite series had all been in one character's mind? Hello, Wisconsin. For the better part of eight seasons, that 70s show supplied fans the giggles with a weekly diet of hanging out, sick burns, and foots and asses. The hit show subverted the classic American family sitcom with a groovy hybrid of 70s pop culture and stoner comedy. Pipsqueak Eric Foreman even became an American teenage everyman, who many could relate to and grow up alongside. But what if many of Eric's experiences were all in his head, and never really happened? Reddit user Nurse Barry suggests that Eric actually spends the second half of the series in a coma, and there are some peculiar scenes that perhaps back up the possibility. The theory begins with the 15th episode of season 4, Tornado Prom. After Eric realizes he forgot to pick up Donna for the prom, he takes off in the Vista Cruiser to get her at the radio station. Shortly after he leaves, the principal announces that there is a red alert tornado in the area, and that all students must stay put in the gymnasium. The show then cuts to a scene of Eric rocking out as he drives, totally oblivious to a giant twister right behind his car. Now, in the episode, Eric arrives safely at the radio station, and both his friends in the school gymnasium and his parents at home in the basement are all okay. But a clue that's easy to miss suggests that maybe everything isn't actually alright. As Kitty and Red head upstairs after the tornado warning has ended, we hear a reporter trailing off. Updating our top story, a local teen is in critical condition. Some might write this off as mere coincidence, but why would the writers include this detail about a local teen if it wasn't about one of the show's main characters? And with all the other characters safely indoors during the tornado, we're forced to wonder if maybe Eric didn't escape his near encounter with the Twister while going to pick up Donna. Could it be that he's actually the local teen in critical condition, perhaps in a coma? Nurse Barry extrapolates from there. So if Eric is actually in a coma, what if the rest of the series is really Eric dreaming or filling in the blanks in his mind? The user even suggests that Eric returns from Africa in the final episode as a way of affirming that his family and friends will be alright without him. In other words, Eric, still in a coma, can finally let go and move on. This is a perfect example of how a small detail can send fans' imaginations racing. Was the teen in critical condition really Eric? Was the rest of the show a series of coma dreams? Maybe nobody knows for sure, but it's definitely something to kick around next time you're sharing a joint in the circle.